today it's a flea market and tomorrow there's wrestling. So Mark and I were just driving to the antique mall. We noticed there's a little flea market that we didn't even know was here. And apparently today it's a flea market and tomorrow there's wrestling in the same building. So there might be a wrestling ring in here too. You just never know what you're gonna find at a flea market. So let's go in and see. I don't have real high hopes, but I mean, you never know. Let's go in and see. Maybe, we'll, maybe we can wrestle while we're in there. Boxing would be better. More fun than the auction. Yeah, the, the, we just came back from an auction. It wasn't that great, but it would be great if we have, they had a boxing ring, then we can box each other. That sounds like fun. All right, let's go in and see what they've got. There is a flea market today and and wrestling tonight. Okay, well, let's go see. Oh, and it is straight up. Hi. They're not kidding. There is a straight up wrestling ring in here. Oh yeah. There's a straight up wrestling ring in here. Oh, it's got a padding. Oh, remember these? Marshmallow gun shooters. Hmm. Okay. Oh, baby. <laughs> Hi. Well. I mean, that was interesting. Um, there, w there w really wasn't anything in there. So now we are going to the antique mall. There's no wrestling in the antique mall though, because there's lots of you break holes in there. But that was, that was, that was interesting. Okay, well, on to the antique mall. We are at White River Arts and Antiques. And we're gonna see if we can find some things that because I always say you can still find things that you can resell in an antique store and I'm going to do a video on that very soon because I myself have taken things from my our store and have flipped them for a lot more money than those are cool do you see these mark sorry I got distracted these hood ornaments they look like rockets I think those are cool. They're tin. They're tin lights. They're on the back, not front. Oh, a fin. This one ornament, but I'm not sure. Well, see, they they snookered me in by the title because I didn't know what it was. So this place has this outside where lots of different treasures and stuff that you can look through out here. But some things aren't always priced. So. I do like this. How much is this? Forty-five dollars. Let's see what it looks like on the ends. Ooh, I like it. I really like that. I'm looking for another, like a rustic. Ooh, shelf. Ooh, I like that. Mark won't like it, but I really like that. I like that. Now watch his reaction. I like this. It's fifty dollars. Okay. You don't like it? Not really. Mm. So everything in this booth is twenty-five percent off, and you always want to look for the sales because a lot of times it's oh I like that chicken nester. A lot of times people are just trying to get rid of some stock to make space for new. This is 149. People, a lot of people hang those on their walls. I think they're adorable. That's neat. It's like a grill from an old car or a tractor. I like this little ladder too. Okay, I am a chalkboard. All right, we're not gonna go inside. I took my coat off because I was hot. Now it's kind of cold out here. Twenty-five percent off of everything. 
These are Tupperware. Cute little Tupperware things. Black cat magic potions. I like these aluminum cups. A set of eight. It's twenty dollars. Twenty-five percent off. That's a new, oh my gosh, how cute is this? Sixty-five dollars. This little enamel top child's table. So cute. I sell these a lot. They're getting harder to find, but a lot of people are collecting these from the 70s, 60s and 70s trucks, and they do look cute in a display, I think. Like these are, this, this one's neat, the color on it, it's $15. It's the bike buggy, buggy. But you know, at Christmas time, you can put Christmas trees in there. That one's 35. This one's neat. $98. They're cute to use with displays. Oh, here's a little pink Tonka truck. That's cute. It's $20. Some little um, monks. I can't remember what they're, who they are. Oh, I see some Shawnee. Some Shawnee kittens, $22.95. I have the cookie jar and the salt and pepper shakers at home. They're so cute. Dog figurines do pretty well. These are shakers. These $4.99. I don't think this booth has any sales. These are really cute too. Made in Japan. They're $12. Just a little girl little boy okay I was last time I was in here and my last video that I was that I filmed in here the squeaker I didn't buy it and it still doesn't have a price on it but this was the only one that I didn't buy he's in a little bit rougher shape but I and I don't think that this one had who it was made by on it but he's so cute he does still squeak but I'm not going to get it. Oh, there's a squirt. I think this is a reproduction, probably. Well, no, maybe not. $45. I don't know. Okay, I like going in here because look. <gasps> look at all the ditty bitties. Oh, he's so cute. None of these are on sale, though. Rats. I love these little made-in-Japan babies. Mark loves them, too, don't you, Mark? So. Oh, I keep them. Some little redware. Those are cute. Are they poodles? <clears throat> what are those? Are you a poodle? What are you? You're an elephant. You're five dollars. And you're four fifty. You don't know why. But you were cute. And you were cute too. And you were cute. Lots of cute. Look at the little seal. I love this stuff. Do you guys like this little stuff too? There's a poodle. Oh, it's a, um, hmm, I like that. It's a letter thing and it, that's where you'd put your pen. It's made in Japan. It's eight dollars. I may have to see about him. I like him. I don't need to buy anything, guys, but it's just hard not to. And you see things that you really like. This is cute too. This little dog here. I have a ton of these little Toby mugs. Seven dollars. They used to be pretty popular and they're not so much anymore. This booth. Now this booth over here we've actually bought some decent things um, that we've sold before. So I always like to look into this booth too. There's some Carnival some Fire King Luster dollars. Oh, sorry. Try to get you where you can see. But they still kind of have a lot of the same stuff. This is McCoy. Seven dollars. Look at the little cutie little things. These are neat. Asian cute pair of Asian cuties. They look like Shawnee to me. For $15 for the pair. That's not too bad. 
There's an elephant. He's kind of neat. He's got neat crazing on him. I think he's a, a homemade piece, but he's really kind of neat for $6.50. There's a bunch more little cuties. There's one booth in here that I wish would have a sale. Because they've got all kinds of little cute things and they never have it for sale. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, there's another one. It's a little prixie. He's only $3.50. Doll head's $49.99. Why? Penny from 1917. Well, this is $25. I like it better. It looks so sad. What is that? It's a long-legged cat. Okay, here's Luke's booth. My friend Luke. He still has that piece of furniture that I like. But I don't think I have anywhere to put it. There's this piece of furniture that I like. That he has. So, this booth and the one right next to it are love. Because of all the little tchotchkas that they have in here. But they're never for, they never run sales. And so it seems like they always have the same stuff. And I do like this aluminum salt pepper shakers. $7 for the pair. They are collar craft, I believe. Yeah. Oh, look. I just bought, my dad just bought, they're made in Mexico. These little feather bird, like souvenir pieces. They don't sell, like they have $8 on these. They don't sell for a whole lot, but... Some people really like them. There's always a buyer for something. Alrighty, and then like this booth over here, I like, but there's never any sales. So, there's no treasures to be had. Trinkets, treasures, and trash. Okay. But, I mean, it's fun to look at still. Like, I've seen him the last time I was in here. He's broken. These were in here last time I, on this guy. $15. They don't, she doesn't ever run sales. It makes me sad. That bird was in here. I mean, a lot of stuff has been in here a while. Okay, we're trying to move away from that speaker. Oh, this is cute. Now, I do have a subscriber that are, that is looking for these. Um, I can't see the price. Can you reach and see the price? And I'll look at the price. So she's watching. $36. $36. So she's watching. She's looking for these canisters. If you're watching, then let me know. And I can come back out here and see if they still have them. Look at that cute little sewing table. I think that's what that is. Yeah, sewing cabinet. How much is it? $149.99. I'm trying to be very picky. Oh. <laughs> this is made by... It's made in Italy. Six dollars. Look at his real butt. It says it's Gigi. <laughs> Are you gonna look it up? Made in Italy, Gigi squeak toy. Nice having my little handy dandy helper. He's so nice. A lithograph cake. I like these. Twelve dollars isn't a bad price for this. These I like to use with the, when they're flat like that. You can layer them so you can add things on top of them. It has a hib hibiscus flower on it. Do I need another one of these, Mark? No. I don't. Hey, look who showed up. I need to go back. I bought a whole table full of chickens. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> we'll build a little nest. <clears throat> That's cute. Hey, Mark, Isn't that cute, Mark? Yeah. <laughs> I like it. It might be left in. But it's yeah. got um, broken what flowers. Oh! I don't have these. Those are, oh, I'm getting these. Salty and peppy. I don't have these. They got cherries on them. Dad, look, here's you. 
Yeah, it is me. Back in my Navy days. Anchors away. Boy. Anchors away. There's an old lady for a dollar fifty. You and your once more for old time's sake. What? Is that naughty? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Oh. Misty, I can't find this thing. I'm going to get it. Look at her. <laughs> get her. I don't like her. She looks like mm, she's... Dada. Looks like she's possessed. I'm going to get this squeaker. It's just intriguing me. And it's fun to squeak. All right. No sale on this booth either. Rats. Rats, rats, rats. Well, I just found something else I'm buying for a friend. I'm buying this for a friend of mine collects it. You probably just take him up to the front. He's a good helper man. I wanted to look at this little Bambi picture. This is Walt Disney Production. $70. It's cute, but man. It's a howdy doody cup. Two dollars. Oh, it's a Welch's. But look, it's Bo's got Bozo Clown on the bottom. Now, they had, they used him for grapes. You, I remember when I was young, you'd buy them. And, it's a and, jelly glass. Yeah, it'd have jelly in it, and then you had the glass to use afterwards. Okay, it is the next day, and I'm going to show you what we purchased from the antique mall. Now, we didn't purchase anything from the flea market. Um, but we did purchase a few things from the antique mall. Not a whole lot. We ended up spending $26.74 on the items that I'm about to show you. So let me go ahead and show you what we got. Just a few little things. But I did pick up the little baby. Now this is a Breva. It's B-R-E-V-A or Breva. Made in Italy. And you can see the little elephant there is the icon. And these, I had seen one somewhat similar sell for about $10. So, wasn't the greatest thing because, you know, we paid, I want to say we paid $4 for it. I can't remember what we paid for it because they took the prices off. Another thing that you saw in the video that I purchased were these salt and pepper shakers. These little wooden salt and pepper shakers. They're salty and peppy. I collect these guys and I don't have any that look like this. They've got cherries on them. I love them. And these I paid $9.50 for. But I had to have them because they go in my collection. And if I'm buying things for myself, you know, I'll spend a little bit more money on myself. Well, you could put a lot of pepper or a lot of salt in there. Not that I'm going to use these because I'm not. But you could. But I'm not. They're going in my collection that... I need to put another shelf up because I've got a lot. All right, and then the next item that I got, I did buy, paid $4.99 for this, and I did buy it for a friend of mine that I'm going to send to her. She collects this Blue Delft pottery, and I don't know if she's got this little Dutch boy, but he is so cute, and so I'm going to send that to her, and he's flawless, just a little statue. So he's going to go to her. And then the last thing I bought was another thing that I bought for myself to keep. I paid $6.50 for it. It was on sale for 25% off. Was this little mini red thermos. And I like these. I like red thermoses especially. I really like the plaid. But I like the size on this. And so it's going to go up in my collection with my other thermoses and that's it that's all we bought you know you don't always have to go and spend tons of money uh, but I always say this you can find things to flip at an antique mall or an antique booth you can a lot of times vendors are just wanting to clear out some inventory and get rid of things because they've got more things that they need to put out so always look for those sales 
always do your research on some comps we couldn't find little baby here but we went ahead and went with our gut and tried it anyway sometimes it works out sometimes it doesn't but it's all part of the adventure right so i am going to go ahead and end this video i hope that you enjoyed it if you did make sure that you give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to my channel i would hope that you would and hit the bell notification and you will be notified every time i upload a new video and with that i'm going to go ahead and say goodbye guys <laughs>